Today, folks, welcome to Long Live Rock, where me, Lad from the Woods, reacts to new classic rock from bands of the past and new classic rock from the bands of today. Let's rock! I'm going to start this one with a big shit-eating grin because this... Hey, how's... I got a tough... Yeah, welcome to Long Live Rock with me, Lad of the Woods. I'm getting... I think my happy fungus tea is starting to hit. Anyways, uh, I was really, really happy to have this set in my release radar on Spotify. It's the new Jethro Tull single from a couple, it's, it's been a couple weeks now. Um, I think the whole album is now out because there's been a lot of yakking about it on uh, Twitter. And yeah, premiere January 12th. The song is called uh, The Zealot Gang. G no, sorry, The Zealot Gene. And was I ever surprised going, wow. And so I really love it when one of our old guys puts out, you know, and of course, Jeff Tull. I mean, we all grew up with that, Aqualung, all the great albums and everything. And of course, different sound with the flute and everything. It's just, you know, he's an amazing songwriter and they've always been a great band. Anyways, uh, they haven't lost anything. That's obvious when you hear this song. And uh I, I, if the album isn't out already, it's it's very close. The whole album to be coming out, and I know there's been a lot of buzz on it on Twitter. So this this is uh, the album is that good apparently that's got everybody's attention. So at least in the rock world, we don't give a shit about anybody else anyway. You know, I mean uh, today, uh, no, not today's. How did how, what was uh, George Carlin used to say? I like disco about as much as I like herpes, or was that Hunter S. Thompson? Anyway, let's rock, folks. Oh, yeah. I have to say at the beginning, please like, share, and subscribe. We're building the channel. And if you want to help out the channel, there's links down in the description to donate. Let's rock. Half of us are in the apple, half of us are in the pie, all of us are in the pudding, when the last bus has gone by. Someone has to take the high road, someone has to make the bed, no one has the right to tell you to lie down when all is said. The black and white, the stereotype, the polarizing picture play, while some of us sit in between interminable shades of grey. No need to walk the tight rope set out on that great divide. The balance scales may tremble, but the fellow weights are on our side. Carrying the seventeen, wide on left, no in between. Beware, beware the seventeen, naked flame. Gasoline. The populist with dark appeal, the pandering to hate, which xenophobic scaremongers deliver on a plate. To tame the pangs of hunger and satisfy the lust, slave to ideology, moderation bites the dust. Be buzzing in your bonnet and a wasp right up the bomb. A V8 under hood, a cocked hammer under thumb. Here splitting Twitter thunder and a screaming bed she wailed. You got too many opinions and a tomcat by the tail. Carrying the zealot's team, right or left, no in between. Beware, beware the zealot's sheep, make it flame near gasoline. Half of us are in the apple, half of us are in the pie, all of us are in the pudding when the last bus has gone by. Someone has to take the high road, someone has to make the bed, no one has the right to tell you to lie down when all is said. The 
flattened by the stereotype A polarizing picture play While some of us sit in between Interminable shades of grey The beautiful walk, the tightrope We set out on that great divide The balance scales may tremble But the feather weights are on our side Carrying the salad sheen Right or left, no in between Beware, beware the salad sheen Make it flame their gasoline There is nothing ever simple about a Jethro Tull song, and that's why it's so good, especially if you're unhappy fungus or whatever have you, or you're smoking some really good, you know. And, uh, uh, I mean, Jethro Tull, it's just, it's good for the brain cells in my mind. And, uh, of course, it's, it's you know, instantly re recognizable sound. I mean, uh, you know, like the Beatles or the Who or Deep Purple or Jim Morris and the Doors, whatever, Greta Van Fleet today, it's an instantly identifiable sound. And nobody else has the Death of Tell song. Not, none that I know of anyway. So, and uh, if there's a young band getting ready to do that kind of stuff, well, I wholeheartedly encourage it because uh, you couldn't uh, emulate a better songwriter or band uh, that uh, is well ensconced as part of the 70s uh, legendary stuff, right? You know, right in there, you know, Pete with Mac, that's that kind of, you know. Anyhow, I was in, I was making my coffee, but I ran out of time. So anyway, uh, I thank everybody for coming. I hope you enjoyed that, eh? Good, good new stuff. We got lots, lots more to do, man. And uh, it's only 1.35 and uh, I don't think... The happy fungus is quite kicked in. I'll know in a few more minutes. So, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have my coffee and cue up the next song for my reaction. Alrighty, all right. Hey, be good there, okay, everyone. Long live rock. <laughs>